What's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to learn how to create this retro text animation inside hitfilm so before we get started how about hit that little subscribe button and also turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on my upcoming videos now that you've done that let's get started let's go to the media tab and click on new create a new composite shot and the duration i'm going to change this to i guess five seconds should be good enough 19 20 10 80 30 fps and click on ok then we we'll create a new text layer and i'm going to type in retro you can type in anything that you want and go to the text tab and here i would like to change the font style i'm going to set this to bold italics and i'm going to increase the font size as well and i'm going to remove the fill so i'm going to click on this white color over here and in the alpha channel I'm going to set this to zero and then we have the stroke value over here so I'm going to set this to 15 and the color is set to red but you can change it to any color that you want I'm going to use this one and you can just play around with the width stroke um, so stroke of the width so you can just increase that to maybe 20 right so let's just keep it at 20 and now go to layout and click on this icon that says align vertical mill and we'll try to align your text in the center uh, but it's still not aligned properly but we'll fix that in a moment um, before we do anything else let's create this layer or convert this layer into 3d so click on this icon that says layer dimensions and make it 3d plane and now it will ask you to add a camera click on yes and let's just animate this click on or expand the new text layer go to transform and i'm going to move forward to four second create a keyframe on position i'm going to go back to the very first frame and i'm going to increase the value of the position uh, just keep on increasing it until your text just disappears from the viewer and once it does that select these two keyframes and convert the keyframes to manual bezier now if you play this it's going to look something like that now you can use the um, if you hover on this I can say floor plane now you can use this floor plane to align your text in the middle so you can see this red line going across your viewer we can use this to align our text so I'm going to increase or change the anchor point value just move it up and down and just try to align your text in the center All right so now it will be centered properly okay so now what we're going to do is uh, we are going to apply an effect on this so i'm going to go to effects and search for echo under temporal you have the echo effect applied on this layer go to controls and uh, let's just expand this so if you scrub through the timeline you'll see that you have this you have two text layers now and this is what exactly what echo effect does it will, it will just create copies right now the number of echoes is set to one so that means it will just create one copy but you can increase this value and echo time is set to minus two seconds so if you set a negative value it will just create copies in front of your text in front of your main text which we don't want so if you change this to any positive number it will just you know create start creating copies behind your original text i'm going to set this to something uh, to like positive 0 0.02 and i'm going to increase the number of echoes as well so let's just set that to 15 starting opacity is zero and let's just go somewhere over here so that i can so show you what the decay effect does so right now as you can see all the echoes or all the copies are you know solid but if i change the decay amount it's just going to make it like f it's just going to fade it out at the end and just makes it really nice so that is what the dk effect does and i'm also going to change the blend to composite in back all right so if you play this that's what we have so far all right pretty awesome then we can duplicate this layer i'm going to actually duplicate this a few times so let's just create three more copies so Control d thrice and we have these text layers we can select the text layer 2 now you can click on the text tool and hit ctrl a on your keyboard to select the entire text and go to text 
tab and here we can change the color of your font and I'm going to use this hot pink color and click on OK. Now select new text 3 and select your text Control A to select it and I'm going to click on the color and change it to something else maybe let's use a green color click on OK now select text 4 and use and uh, just make sure you select it and change it to uh, something else maybe like a uh, yellow click on OK alright so now what we have to do is just stagger these layers so I'm going to move the new text 2 layer forward by about 8 frames I'm going to bring the new text 3 at the same position and now I'm going to move it forward 8 frames from this position bring the new text 4 to the same position and now move it forward by about 8 frames alright so if you play this this is what we have created so far and there you go that's how you can create this cool retro text animation inside hitfilm i hope this video was helpful hope you learned something new if you did do consider liking the video and also subscribing to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one